Hi there, my name is Mr. Goat, and in this video we're going to analyze space complexity for searching in search trees. And for this I added a search algorithm for binary search trees. Um, but please note that the way in, uh, in which I'm going to explain how you should analyze the space complexity holds for every search tree, so not just binary search trees. And then there is a recursive version and an iterative version, but I think the recursive version is more easy for you to understand how you should how you could look at space complexity analysis so this is the recursive one um, let's just quickly go over it and then we're going to analyze the space complexity so given is that is a node which can in the first time that the search method is called it can be the root um, but furthermore this will be the node at which we're currently at Besides, a key is given, and this is the key for which you would like to uh, search some node. And then there is an if check for which you check if the node is null. And if this is the case, then we're or at the bottom of the tree where there is no more a node, or the root node is null. And then we just return null because, well, the key that we want to find hasn't been found. And then we uh, assign the key of the given node to node key and we're going to check whether this node key is equal to the given key that we're looking for and if that's true we're going to return a node easily and if the key is smaller than node key then we're going to perform a recursive call with search and we're going to add the left node to the current node and perform the recursive call together with the key and if this doesn't hold so uh, key is actually greater than node key then we're going to uh, do a recursive call with the node right to the current node so that's how the algorithm works and in the end uh, you find out whether the the key is indeed there by the node and if not you get a null as return so let's now uh, try to analyze the space complexity. So we're going to analyze space complexity in terms of three steps. The first one is that we're going to come up with a recurrence equation for the algorithm in terms of the height. Then we're going to uh, derive the closed form of the recurrence equation. Finally, we're going to come up with the answer we're looking for, namely the space complexity in terms of big O. So let's just start with the first step. So the recurrence equation will look like this. Uh, th is 1 times th minus 1 plus c1, and the base case will be c2, in which c1 and c2 are constants. So there is a 1 in front of th minus 1 because only one recursive call at the same time is on the call stack. If we're looking at the algorithm, we see that because, well, we're all uh, going to recursively call search with the node on the left or on the right. So there will only be one uh, recursive call on the call stack at the same time. Then there is th minus one because every time we perform a recursive call, we move recursively one level down into three. And then there's this c1, uh, which stands for the constant operations that are performed in terms of space complexity. So for example, the node key that is assigned and saved in memory. Well, we have to take these things into account as well. Then the base case is uh, C2, so a constant operation because, well, we, we are returning uh, a node here and a null value here, which have to be taken into account as well. So that's why this recurrence equation holds. Then uh, going to the closed form, we're going to derive that basically by um, substituting th minus 1 with the recurrence equation. So this is the recurrence equation we've just come up with. And then uh, we're going to fill in this h minus 1. So we're going to substitute that. Then uh, we're basically coming up with a general formula in which k is a constant. So actually every recursive call there is the, this addition of one one constant extra per per time that we move recursively one level down the three 
and we can also see that if k is h because then uh, we will actually reach the base case because h minus h is zero then in this case th is t0 plus h times t1 which is actually c2 because well we said that the base case is c2 and this is c2 plus h times c1 thus the closed form is th is h times c1 plus c2 so taking into account this closed form we're going to um, come up with the answer for the space complexity um, so here's the closed form again and now, now we can conclude that th is oh because as when h goes to infinity the linear term will be dominant for the growth rate and with linear term i mean h times c1 and this actually makes sense because in worst case when the node we're looking for is at the bottom of the tree we have to recur move recursively uh, throughout the whole tree in order to reach this node and in this case the amount of recursive calls that are made and are passed to the call stack is dominant and this is actually equal to the height of the tree so in worst case th is oh and this is the space complexity in general for such trees so i hope that answers the the question that we had at the beginning um that's it if you liked the video please make sure to hit the thumbs up if you still have any questions, please use the comment section. And if you'd like to support the channel, make sure to subscribe. So stay cool. Bye.